and this graph defines that the gluon gluon interactions at the high energy the gluon gluon fusion produce the top and anti top quarks and which decay back into the to the higgs particle the, the production of the higgs particle and the decay of the higgs particle and here is the the top quark and anti top quark are fusing from the gluons and gluon interactions and they produce the higgs particle there are the higgs strand strand the quark and anti quark interactions productions of the w and g bosons and decay of the wg bosons with the higgs particle and here the w and g fusion the quark and anti quark interactions production of the weak particles and decay of uh, productions of the higgs particle and the decay of the higgs particle in the previous video we talked about the Kazmaier effect and the Kazmaier forces and uh, how does the vacuum behaves and how do the particles are uh, behaving in the vacuum why they are just uh, tracked into each other and what happening what kind of force the two particles are just experiencing between them and now in this video I'm going to talk about the Higgs field and what is the Higgs field and what does that mean with the vacuum uh, the vacuum is the not empty we know that there is a vacuum fluctuations and the vacuum that the fluctuations are having in the and it the, they have a symmetry of fluctuations and the higgs field is belonging to the vacuum that is not empty and the vacuum having the Higgs molasses which is everywhere that exists in the entire universe is a Higgs field and the particle because the particles are getting masses because of the Higgs field particles are coming into existence due to the Higgs field but why do some bosons have a masses like that the V bosons, the W and G bosons, they have a masses. So, where do they gain mass from? How do they gain mass? Because according to the standard model, the, they should not have any mass. But there is the scenario they have a mass and they exist. And this is the, there is an idea that the Peter Higgs, you know, he had so. He has just given some hypothesis. He has given some ideas that such a Higgs, the weak bosons are gaining mass because of the Higgs field. Because the heavier the particle will be, and more, more and more this will interact with the Higgs field, and that interaction causes the mass gain in the particles the particle are gaining mass because of interaction with the Higgs field the molasses in the Higgs field from the vacuum and uh, vacuum is not empty so if the symmetry is breaking if the high energy let's say if the high energy if there is a, a symmetry of the weak bosons and the electromagnetic bosons so they behave same at the high energy and when that the symmetry breaks at the low energy when there is a low energy the low temperature and the, the particles are splitting their energy and they are just they are breaking their symmetries and they are separating and those particles which are not interacting with the Higgs field they are not gaining mass so they become massless and some particles which are interacting with the Higgs field they are gaining mass and they pop out becoming very heavy massive particles and the Higgs effect that because of the the particles and the 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 particles always want to 
attempts to achieve the lowest energy states and they want to go back to the vacuum they decay if they are not coupling or they are free or they they achieve the lowest energy states they are going back to the vacuum and vacuum is not empty that's the reason the particles are coming out from the vacuum and going back to the vacuum because of the Higgs field and interaction with the Higgs field cause the particle mass. As you can see there the the quark and quark interactions. Then there is a collision of the quark and quark interactions which are situated situated inside the proton and protons. When the quark and quark interact in the high energy they produce the double g bosons and the double g bosons but furthermore double g bosons which are decaying back into the higgs particle and after is the energy get lower and lower the higgs particle also decay back into the vacuum and according to the standard model of particle physics the the particles which are carrying the force or the cause the interactions like the <coughs> quark interactions and the electromagnetic interactions and the weak interactions and gravitational interactions these interactions are just because of the the particles the massless particles the bosons but why There is one another Feynman diagrams the the gluon gluon interactions produce the gluons and the gluons further decay back to the top and anti top quarks which the the anti top quark the anti particles so that the arrow is in the inward directions and the particles are in the positive directions so incoming particle and outgoing particles the top quark decay back to the bottom quark and Higgs positive particle and with the Higgs particle decay back into the neutrino and the positive tau neutrino and the anti quark is coming from the anti bottom quark and that decay from the W minus bosons which decay back into the fermions and anti fermions and that phenomena of the gaining of mass of particles the particles are gaining mass from the Higgs field it's just say it's called the Higgs effect <laughs>